In this video, I'll break down a full metal mix and show you how it was built using TuneTrack plugins. All of the drums in this song come from Easy Drummer 3 and the Metal Mania Easy X using the Nordic Metal preset. The strength of this setup is that the preset already sounds like a modern metal drum mix. It gives you impact and clarity without any additional mixing, because the mixing's already been performed. If I launch this same preset in Superior Drummer 3, and I go to the mixer, you can see exactly how much processing has been applied. And if you're an SD3 user, you can make adjustments if desired. The bass on this track starts from a clean DI that's duplicated on two different tracks. Both of these are processed with EasyMix 3 amp chains, but one track stays clean and focuses on the high-end note definition and clank of the sound while the other track is more driven and focuses on the grit and mid-range fullness. A small amount of boosting has been done on these tracks with a third-party EQ to add a bit of low end and exaggerate the dominant qualities of each bass sound. On the bus, there's another EQ with a gentle boost and cut mainly to control the 250Hz area, which is a frequency range that you need to be very careful about, especially in metal and hard rock music. But again, the moves here are only a few dB at a time. The rhythm guitars are built around a quad track setup. Two are panned to the left and two are panned to the right with two different sets of Easy Mix 3 guitar tones. By changing the tones between the left and right side, the guitars achieve a greater stereo width and depth that's not possible any other way. Sometimes, guitar players will duplicate their tracks and delay one by a few milliseconds. While this can be somewhat of an improvement, it's no substitute for double or quad tracking because a duplicate track is delayed by a consistent value. The tone itself comes from choosing the right Easy Mix 3 guitar amp signal chains and from great performances. When you quad track guitars, you're also quadrupling any spiky frequencies, so you may need to make small surgical cuts like this. On top of the main rhythm guitars, this track uses clean and affected guitars for some contrast. These are also processed with Easy Mix 3, using chains that add some ambience and tone shaping suited for the cleaner parts. There's also more affected guitar tracks that come in at key moments. These tracks support the transitions, build tension, and add some movement to the track, as in the case with this automated panning track, which is high and low pass filtered with Easy Mix 3. The final stage of this mix uses Easy Mix 3 AI-assisted mastering chains on the stereo output. Here, Easy Mix 3 analyzes the track and adapts a mastering chain to this specific song. Just add an AI mastering chain and then filter the presets by genre. Then analyze your track. You can switch through the various mastering options to find the one that suits your track the best.
For this song, I like the progressive metal master because I think it does a great job of widening the track and creating a very good tonal balance. If you want to try this kind of setup on your own songs, grab the free 10-day demos of Easy Drummer 3 and Easy Mix 3 at TuneTrack.com.